What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Uh, this cube fired right away. We could go Kiki Jiki. That's a solid first pick. We also got a uh, Shieldred. It's a good pick as well. What up, Ash? Fenodroid, Courageous Kitty. What's going on, y'all? Super Fritz. Um, hmm. These are decisions we got to make here. I'm gonna take a Kiki Jiki, I think. It's just too good, right? Yeah, that mono green bullet stack. Busting does make me feel good. I'm about to bust. I can I can get behind that. I'm gonna take this guy. Hmm. Factor fiction, eh? If you guys didn't know, uh blue is the color you want to get paired with for this Kiki Jiki. So I'm gonna take the uh the old factor fiction. I cannot see another another card in this pack that is even close in quality. We can take Sea Chrome Coast. Leave ourselves open for Jeskai because also Restoration Angel is also a combo. Also, it is raining quite hard here, and there's been like thunderstorm warnings on my phone all day. So uh, if the internet goes down, I'm sorry. I took Sea Chrome Coast. I didn't care about those other cards. I do like a Seagate Oracle and a Miscalculation. Thank you. Promina, welcome back. I missed the stream most of the time, but I appreciate all the YouTube. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Glad to hear it. I'm gonna take Seagate Oracle. I like it better than Miscalculation. Uh Inspiring Vantage. We can have both of these check lands, if you will. Uh is it check lands? Fast lands? I think they're called fast lands. I don't know, man. I'm probably just taking the PN Kieran Nalar. Another card that we can use, uh the Imperial Recruiter will undoubtedly get. Oh, Revel Arc is interesting because it can actually get back Kiki Jiki and Pestermite. That's actually pretty sweet. That can be our six drop. <laughs> Time's wasting. Uh, we're gonna take Exclusion Mage probably. I think the check lands are the lands like Glacial Fortress and stuff because they're checking to see if you have a bit another, another type of basic. I don't think these are check lands. Oh, buddy, I see what you're saying. You thought I was talking about those, which makes sense. Um, hmm. I guess it's just Loxon on here. I don't know. Ancient Crudge isn't very exciting. Eh, Burst Lightning and, and Explosion Expansion. I think Explosion Expansion is fine here. I kind of like Burst Lightning, though. Just as a nice... Just a nice way to shoot them in the face. Yeah, we'll take Burst Lightning. In which cube deck would you play Brainstorm? I mean, if we had enough, like, fetch lands and stuff, I would... I actually... I don't like Brainstorm that much without a good number of shuffle effects. Mm, Fairgrounds Warden. Yeah, it's fine. Not exciting, but fine. This pack has been pretty meh. Eh, shouldn't fire is fine. If they're fast, you better catch them. Well, if they're slow, you better catch them too. Being fast doesn't mean we have to catch them necessarily. Windswept Teeth is fine. I'm surprised they came back, actually, if we get any sort of uh, 
Sure. If we get any sort of tundra or... Eh, whatever. Sacred foundry, I guess. Well, a bayou and a, and a woodland cemetery as, a, as some of the last picks. That's, that's something, all right. Mm, I like Venser. There's a there's your boy Rafelos and Tooth and Nail, two of two of my favorite cards, as you guys probably know. Fencer is also nice with the Revelark. Revelark's been killing it. I mean, Revelark gets all like literally every creature in our deck back right now. Yeah, I like Fencer. Cryptic Command. Boy, do I like a Cryptic Command. Oh, here's a Plateau. Wow, you just mentioned Plateau, and there it is. I think we like Silver Falls a lot better, though. Oh, God, Cryptic Command, though. We already have Triple Kiki Jiki. I'm just going to take the Silver Falls. I think that's way more important for this deck. It doesn't feel good to do it, but... Uh, Sheldock Isle seems good. I like it better than all three of these marginal creatures. Chromatic Lantern also pretty good. I think we're in it for Sheldock, though. Chain Lightning. Imperial Recruiter? Eh, he's kind of what we wanted. Alright, we'll take the Imperial Recruiter. It literally hits everything. Wow. I'm almost tempted to hate this because there's nothing great in this pack. I think Vanilla Click's fine. But if we get, like, through the Breach or Sneak Attack, I think this is... Thank you! Significantly better. Check 2! Thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. I couldn't chat, now I can. Well... I think that's probably because of the life choices you made. I'll take a repeal. Someone signed in my account from New Jersey? Oh, that's weird. I actually heard a couple people say their accounts got hacked. Their Twitch accounts got hacked. You guys should use that two-factor authentication. Authentication? Authentication? You get it. You know what I'm saying. This pack is pretty meh. We'll just take Searing Spear. As our first two drop. <laughs> two two factor authentication trademark. <laughs> Don't you guys use that? That's mine. Don't you use my two factor authentication authentication? Thank you. That still sounds right. Authentication? It still sounds correct to me. Magic Marker Studios, thank you so much for the use of Twitch is being dumb and had me unfollow your stream. I was wondering where that's weird. That's not okay. Emrakul is one of the few creatures I would be okay show and telling. And I think we had good results with it before. I think show and tell is generally a trap. I think we just want to stick with Magma Jet. I don't think we want to get too crazy with Show and Tell here. Oh, Sinister Sabotage came back. That's beautiful. Wow, I was really hoping this came back. This is what this is like. I almost wanted this over the. Uh... What did I take? What did I take over it? I have no idea. I forgot what I took. Venser? Yeah, I think it was Venser. The Plateau came back. That's pretty nice. Because we can get a Plateau with a Windswept Teeth. I don't think it's Mana War when we have Exclusion Mage. Also, the one thing about Exclusion Mage that I like over Mana War... Uh, see, it's, it's actually 50-50. Like, the Phenom, thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. So the thing about Mana War is that you have to target a creature no matter what. And it can be any creature. Yours, theirs, whatever. I'm going to take the Manic Vandal here. Yeah, I want to have some kind of artifact removal, and we already have, like, four burn spells here. Um, you have to target something. So if, you, if your opponent has, say, a Grave Titan on the board, you know, ignore the zombies. But if they have, like, a 6-6, six, six, and you need a way to block it or else you die, and you have no creatures on the board, um, you can't actually cast Mana War because it would just bounce itself. Wait, that doesn't make sense because it would just, you just bounce their guy. 
there are situations I was in recently. Wow, Vandalia came back. There was a situation I was in recently where I had to, I just wanted to play a Mana War. Maybe they were at two and there were no creatures on the board, right? And I had to I had to bounce something. So the Mana War had to bounce itself. Whereas if it was Exclusion Mage, we have no we have no targets here still. Or if it is if it was Exclusion Mage, then you wouldn't have to bounce anything because it's an opponent's control. Um, however, the the alternative to that is that like if you want to play Mana War and bounce one of your own creatures like a P and Kieran Nalar or a Venser, you can do that, which is sweet. We're taking Fractured Identity. I think it's the strongest card in this pack by a sizable margin. Oh, oh, through the breach and a Volcanic Island. God, what a... How are you going to make me pick? I mean, we're definitely taking the, the through the breach because we have an Emrakul, but... Arid Mesa seems good. Uh, we can't get a blue, though, unfortunately. Hmm. That's pretty sad. Serum Visions is probably better in that case. I mean, we already have Windswept Teeth, which does the same exact thing as Arid Mesa. It just gets a red or a white. Because we have Plateau. Yeah, Fracture Identity is sweet. This is a new addition to the cube, and I, I like it. Actually, I don't think Pyromancer is great here. We have a lot more... Uh, creatures and spells this this go around. I mean, there's definitely still time for us to hit up a, a Pestermite or a Deceiver Exarch or even a Restoration Angel. This is good. This is good. Rekindling Phoenix is good. Celestial Colony is good. I kind of want the Celestial Colony. I think it's just a solid thing. This pack is great. If any one of these cards comes back, though, I'm going to be really grateful. Seems good. Ooh, Electrolyze. Daze is cute. I like Electrolyze more than I like Spell Queller. Steam vents. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Bring it. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be kiki jikiing, uh, well, not Venser, not PN Karen Alar. Yeah, kiki jiki looking rough here. Welp, Exquisite Firecraft, Spellseeker. If we had a black source, I would take this Angrath, but alas, we do not. <laughs> Coco Jumbo. Oh man, that's a that's a good meme. I think it might just be Firecraft. Well, now we now we know we did not get a single. That's really sad. The Volcanic Island came back? Oh my god. So did Murmuring Mystic? Oh god. Yeah, we're just going to take the Volcanic Island. Nah, I don't think it's... That's insane. And so did Young Pyromancer. Okay, well. Whirler Rogue? Hmm. Well, considering we picked up Serum Visions and Electrolyze, yeah, now this guy actually seems like he fits here. Oh my god, every single... <sighs> I think we just want the Rekindling Phoenix. This card's just great. And Spiral of Canal comes back as well. Oh my god. Okay, we can actually cut Kiki Jiki. I think that's fine. 
I wonder if Thing in the Ice is good here. It feels like it could be good. We can also search for it with Imperial Recruiter. We can get it back with a Revel Arc. If we have like 8 to 10 spells, I think we can definitely... Alright, looking good. Oh wow, yeah, we have plenty. That's great. Oh, Fractured Identity too. Jeez. Thing in the Ice can come in, and now we need two cuts. Okay, so I, I could probably cut Fairgrounds Warden. I don't really care about Fairgrounds Warden. One cut, 17 lands. Are you talking about the old 45 special? The 41 special? Because I'm down. Our mana base is also looking legit. Get out of here, Maze of Ith. More like Maze of Shith, am I right? <laughs> okay. So we got Steam Vents, Sulphur Falls, Volcanic Island, and Spire Bluff Canal. The only thing we didn't get is is uh, Scalding Tarn. Sure, dude. Look at that beautiful distribution. Okay, so... Okay, so these. Okay, let's. Unfortunately, this windswept teeth does not have a way to get a blue source, but it can get our uh, our plateau, and it can get like a basic plains, which we might play one of. Just because. Um, otherwise, the, if we draw the windswept teeth, it's blank, and I really hate that. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine sources of blue, or red rather, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten sources of red blue i'll get these correct one day okay so so this is one two three four five six seven eight nine and one two three four five six seven eight nine and then we can just go ten ten yeah that seems great lafof what's going on buddy greetings from florida I have a two minute message from, from my dental my dental place. Give me one second, I'm gonna listen to So I made an appointment yesterday for the dentist and they called today and they're like, We noticed you have not confirmed yet and I'm like, buddy, I was the one who made the appointment. We're going to mulligan here. We only have access to red, and this hand is much better. Super Mario. Burp. Do the Mario. Burp, burp, burp. My laser teeth? Oh my god, this is unbelievable. Swing your hips from side to side. You guys remember that song? Do the Mario. Hmm. 
Wow, they're going to have seven mana next turn. That is a lot. Is the is the Phoenix better because it's just a strong dude, or is the Firecraft better because it gets this thing in the ice closer to flipping? It's actually a tough tough choice because like if they're playing green and next time they go like Avenger of Zendikar, then we really want Exquisite Firecraft to be able to to be able to like punish them a little bit. <laughs> Garrick and a Raffellos, huh? Okay. You got it, my dude. Oh, that's fascinating. Oh, we're going to actually play... Uh, I'm gonna bottom both of these. Wow, we hit a sea chrome coast, then we hit two lands. That's something. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana, huh? I don't think we care about the Rafellos. Also, if they make a bunch of tokens with Garrick, that's fine. Okay, it's a lot of Garricks. It's a lot of Garricks. Neither deck is very close to Shell Dock Isle. <laughs> Did they get the alligator out of your net? Uh, no, I rescheduled for tomorrow because the weather's terrible today, so. And I wish I could activate this and, and threaten one of these Garricks, but alas. I guess we just should have played Revel Arc here. Yeah, I'm I feel like we're a little far behind here. All right. Well, these are scary times. Wow, what if they just put the, all the counters on the, on the gear hulk and they just draw eight? Oh, God. Oh, God. Crim, crime, criminy. Crim, crim, criminy. Yep, that's what they did. That's what they did. 
On the bright side, if we bounce everything, they're going to have to lob this card. We're basically dead. Do the Mario. Bam, bam, bam. I don't know if we need a Super Mario mode. That that feels pretty narrow just because I'm singing the Super Mario song. More like Smell Doc Isle. Well, had I known they were going to draw eight cards, I would have played the Shell Doc last turn because that's a free spell for us. I mean, if we just draw Emrakul, actually, through the Breach is pretty nuts, right? I think that's better than hoping, like, Sinister Sabotage has an effect. Oh, boy. Thank you. This is where they just sack a wolf, get Crater Hoof, and kill us? Probably. See in quotes, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. You're the hero we need. I'm going to go to the next game. All right. Well, we had a good, we had a good run there. I almost want to bring in Sweltering Suns. It kills so many of our creatures, but... Manic Vandal seems okay. What did we see? We saw Hedron Archive. I wonder if Bedlam Reveler is just worth playing. Maybe we should be playing the Bedlam Reveler. Hmm, Gear Hulk too. Yeah, I can get behind that. Probably better than Exclusion Mage, right? What are we going to bounce? Uh, Rafelos? Oh, yeah, I'll keep the sand. We're halfway there. Gotta host a birthday party? Icarus, have a good afternoon, buddy. Enjoy your birthday party. It's not my birthday party. Yeah, but it should be. This is a very unimpressive uh, Sheldock Isle. Also, when you have Emrakul in your deck, Sheldock Isle just goes up exponentially. I'm going to let you have that bird for now. All the people on the streams I go to really like the surprise Pikachu emote. I don't know if any of them sub to get it, but meme emotes have been super... I agree with you. Okay, so I'm glad we saved our Magma Jet for this idiot. Fractured Identity. We don't have a white yet. I think we can bottom both of these. Spider View, what's going on? Happy Easter. Have you finished preparing for Moochel's birthday party today? No, not yet. It's, <laughs> it's always a work in progress. We are currently down a game in our first match in cube, so.
Grim Monolith. Oh, come on, Manic Vandal one time. It was not a Manic... Twas, twas not. Twas not a Manic Vandal. So we have Spiral of Canal, Inspiring Vantage, and Sea Chrome Coast. And Shelldock Isle. So we have four lands that are going to come and play tapped after turn three. Ugh. That's gross. This is my least favorite land. I just don't even like them. This is good when you're stuck on, on mana because... Uh, Emrakul off the top? Oh, stay on the top. Stay on the top. Stay on the top forever. You got something else? You got more things? Come on. Just stop it. These are good for like aggro decks, right? Where you never want more than three lands anyway. So that like, oh, it'll come into play tapped on turn four, but I don't have a four drop anyway. But like, I mean, and just in most decks, like every turn after turn three, they're just not good. I'm just, they're just not my preferred lands. Well, this is a this is a good play. I'd rather have countered this than this, to be quite honest, but it didn't look like you had many things to do afterwards, so here we are. They're going to go land, and then they're going to go Polucranos. Oh, they didn't attack there? Fascinating. Hmm. It's actually surprisingly good here. Thank you. Hmm. Yep, that's okay. Cheese Wisp, thank you for the reset, buddy. I really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome back. Welcome back. The problem is if we Benzer here, they can just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, deal three, they go just shoot our board. That doesn't seem good. I need a red draw land so they can just play Consecrated Sphinx. If we slam Sphinx, they make an 8-8, eight, eight, which sucks, and they kill our board. We take 8, but the Grim Moth is tapped. We get to untap and play Venser, bounce their Pelucranos. That seems good enough to me. Pelucranos is confusing because it's not fighting. It's dealing the damage equal to X, and you're dealing damage equal to your power. So, like, if they Pelucranos for three, they're dealing three, but we're dealing, like, four, you know, or whatever. Whatever the fight is. Okay, so they are going to kill the three one ones. And that's fine. Oh, Lord. Yep. All right. So now I guess to just draw some cards. Emrakul? Also fine. I also have Revelark in hand, so I'm not too concerned with the young PZ hitting the, hitting the bin. Also, their Grim Monolith being tapped is pretty good for us. So right now we can Venser this and then shoot the bird. That seems pretty good. I 
If we had another land, we could thing in the ice, Venser, shoot the bird, but. I guess we could. No, we have to Venser, right? So. We get tap it out of mana just for fun. Why'd you have to go and make things so consecrated? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine damage. Oh, they just lose. All right. Consecrated Sphinx is a hell of a drug. I'm just going to submit. I like our deck. I don't know if it's good, but I like it. Uh, this hand is good. I will keep it. Search for tomorrow. Ah, uh, Phoenix is good. Wow. Bottom and bottom. Thanks, but no thanks. I mean, I hope they play like Hedron Archive here. That'd be great. That is not a Hedron Archive. need to do that. That doesn't seem good. That seems good. I mean, if we play Seagate Oracle and they and they shoot it, we can then Magma Jet this. I think that's fine. Oh, I like an Electrolyze. I also like a Burst Lightning. I think I like Electrolyze better, but Burst Lightning gives us... Yeah, I'm just going to take the Electrolyze. Yep, had a feeling you'd do that. Okay, getting real tired of this Garrick. So we can go Electrolyze. Oh, it's a Magma Jet. It's not even a... Oh, that sucks. Yep, I'm regretting not taking the Burst Lightning now. God, Shivan Fire is so... It's so bad. We're just so far behind right now.
Well, that's interesting. Hmm. Well, if we got tunes going, then I would not be able to upload videos to YouTube, and uh, that seems like it would not make me happy. <sighs> yep. No, I'll just gain, draw seven. If we can just top that, we still need to land, actually. It doesn't even work. Guess we'll just take casual take nine. At least this guy doesn't have trample and we have a manic vandal in hand, right? Small victories. Fuck. <laughs> I still can't shiv and fire the Garrick. Like, it's hilariously bad. Like, why you'd put this in the cube over something else is just beyond me. Yeah, if you I, like, if you're just watching, like, if you're just watching the stream, just put on your own music in the background. It's basically the same thing, right? Only better because you get to pick. In my head, I was just like, man, maybe I should have killed this before they attacked, or before they made a guy. Like, I should have just killed the Garrick. And then I was like, oh wait, it's still Shiv and Fire. It still sucks. I think Fork Bolt, uh, Arc Light, Arc like Arc, Arc Lightning? Arc, no, it's not Arc Lightning, what's it called? The one that deals two and then one, what's that called? Arc Bolt? I don't know what it's called. Arc Trail, there you go, nailed it. No, 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 nailed it. Yep, go fuck yourself. <laughs> cool. Plow under, man. That was super cool. Good times. Good times. Let's play first. All things considered, not bad. Not bad. God, I can't get over how bad Shiv and Fire is. Just criminally bad. Criminally, guys. Criminals would play that card because it's so bad. It's just it strictly works burst lightning. I don't understand it. Like, it's it's just burst lightning, but bad. Like a bad burst lightning. I can't even handle it. I can't even like wrap my head around it. But now you have two burst lightnings, uh, don't you see? I, I guess. It is probably worse than Shock. I would probably rather have something that dealt two damage to Planeswalkers. Because Burst Lightning can deal damage to player or creature. It's any target, right? So Shivan Fire would be great if it said deal two damage to target Planeswalker or creature, right? But instead, it's just, it's just creature. So, like, then you still can't hit the player. I get it. You're still not, like, it's still not direct damage, right? But, like, at least then you can... 
kill a planeswalker. I can shoot a Garrick if I need to, you know, and like I think that's good. I think that's what you want out of a red spell, but here we are. You want me to block this so you can kill my Phoenix? Get out of here. You crazy. You must be insane. You got it. Take my take my searing spear. I didn't want it anyway. I don't even like searing spear. Oh, that's a good one. Ah, <laughs> uh, I kind of want both of these. Yeah, we're going to factor fiction at the end of the turn. Eot, if you will. I will take three. They don't want to get in there with the card sale free booty? Necrotol? Okay. You gotta kill the exclusion mage, right? Yeah, that's sad. I have not talked about war spoilers. Me and Rob are likely gonna do a set review. I'd like to try to get it done this weekend. Let me actually message him right now and see what's up. Hey, yo, Rob. Ba -da -da -da. Joke's on you. I want these top two, actually, because I want to be able to cast this Consecrated Sphinx. Yeah, fine. Knock yourself out. You can talk about the set all you like, my dude. This is a magic stream, buddy. Where's your boyfriend? Oh, uh, he's probably at work. Oh, you know. Just hanging out. I'll play a ravenous chupacabra. Of course you will. Why wouldn't you? Got a cool, uh, got a cool one activation off this guy. Three, four, five, six. Can we kill you yet? One, two, three, four. Almost. It's real close. Actually, we can. We have a celestial colony. They're just dead, right? If they attack with this freebooter, they they saw it. I'll take five and go to nine. You got it. I do my own hair. I don't trust anybody else to do my hair, so. Look at that. Two lands that come in and play tapped. Um. <laughs> Uh, let's just kill them, I guess. Go one, two, three, four, five, activate. Attack with both. Magma jet this guy. You did.
Does it matter? No, I'll put you on the bottom, put you on top. Sure. Good deal. Uh, I feel like Sweltering Suns is probably good here. I hate that it kills all of our creatures, but that's life, you know. You just gotta play around it. I'm gonna take out Imperial Recruiter. I will keep this hand. Hand seems fine. I will shoot this guy out here. I'll do it during my main phase, though. We got a turn two thing in the ice? God. They can't win. Let's go ahead to Plateau. I don't feel like uh, drawing this, so. Have you expressed any thoughts on the War Mythic Edition box? Uh, it looks sweet. It looks like one of the sweeter ones. Wow, not having a second blue source here is pretty sad. However, any land is very good here, except for the three comes into play tap lands we have, or Sheldock Isle. So, we have three lands here, one is in the graveyard, so we have 13 lands left in our deck, four of which come into play tapped next turn. I hate that. It's not good. None of these cards are good. God, Shivan Fire, you're so bad, dude. What happened against the green Garrick deck? It killed us. We, uh, we did not win. Bloodgast. If this exiled it, I'd be like, alright, I'm on board. I'm on board. I'm kinda I kinda just want to block and kill this. Like, we don't have a way to deal with it otherwise. And our Shiv and Fire is just so terrible. <laughs> oh, time walk yourself. Sounds good. I have three mana and four lands and no way to use those. Sad days. Oh, but they didn't do anything? All right, well. Seems good for us. I mean, I could just pass here in Factor Fiction. And we could play Rekindling Phoenix, but they have five cards and they didn't do anything? No. Nah. That's bait. I'll block. I don't think there's like a two damage spell. There's no like... There's no like douse and gloom, right? Masquerum? No, dude. I'm just going to do this main phase because I really want to uh, be able to hit land drops here. <laughs> They're going to put Consecrated Sphinx by itself. Guaranteed. Yeah, deal. I accept your offering. I 
Uh, one, two, three. We have one, two, three blue sources, three red sources. I would rather have another red source here. They didn't do anything again? What's even happening right now? This guy needs one counter. And then he does a little flip ski. Man, we really got we got really we got this game under lockdown, I feel like. Um I mean, we could safely play a Pia and Kieran Alar. They get bounced, but like, what else are we gonna do with our mana? I guess we could Vendillion click too. I like that better just to see what they have. And then if they respond, um, actually I have no idea what they'd respond with. That's fine. Show me what you got. Ulamog. What even, dude? A bunch of white cards, a Buried Alive, and an Ulamog. Okay, so you have six mana. I kind of just want to take this duplicate because... Then you steal this guy, right? And I don't like that. So you have these four, and then one card that we gave you. So we got we got options here. If we magmage it, we gotta magmage at the face, because otherwise whatever we hit's not gonna die and it's gonna get bounced anyway. I think this is fine. Like we know that we don't we know they don't have an answer to a seven seven, so. If we burn the rat, it's actually just gonna it's gonna bounce before it resolves, so that's not a not ideal. This would trigger bounces the rat. Uh, repeal does the same thing. It would get countered before we draw the card. I'm just going to keep through the breach because our, our hand is pretty stacked as it is. Well, what are we casting it on? Like we have to have a target. You can't just you can't just cast a spell with no target. <laughs> I guess you're right. It wouldn't get countered because you literally can't cast the spell without a target. <laughs> That's like Obliterator. I <laughs> just made a delicious truffle buttered bacon and egg burrito. Now enjoying while watching your stream. What a morning. What a time to be alive. Oh, they took our fractured identity? That's rude. Let's hit an Emrakul one time. We did not. 
Let's hit an Emrakul one time. We did not. Better get your chump on. Well, they're dead on board, so. They had a good run. Emrakul? It's never, nev more like Nevrakul, am I right? You are right. It is more like Nevrical. If they can see it, I can respond by burst lightning, burst lightninging their face. It is more like never a call. <laughs> got him. Did you get him? I got him. Thank you. Urza, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome back. Yeah, sounds good. We got the good one. We got the good burst lightning. I'll keep it. <laughs> oh, Volcanic Island. Real original, buddy. Real original. Halfway there. Yeah, we can't do anything here anyway. Didn't Vulcan to Brainstorm? What a waste. And then they played Brainstorm. So, <laughs> wow, you just predicted the future real creepily. That is awkward, my dude. Um, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Wow, that's really weird. I guess we should have let this resolve first so we get to see the card they draw. That was dumb. Glorybringer? You have no lands? Interesting. I mean, a braid kills this, which is frustrating. So does Glorybringer. And you're going to draw two cards, three cards? So you're going to hit lands. Could just not take anything. Glorybringer's pretty scary, though. Yeah, that sucks. We missed a card by not letting it resolve first. We should have been like, yeah, your ice resolves, add the mana, Shut up and take play Vendillion money. Click. Spider View, Ag aggressive Naya, if possible, have Mike draft it without any help. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't know if we can do it, though, because Mike's not going to be off until Tuesday. And Tuesday all day I'm going to be playing in the, uh, the, the early access streamer event on Magic Online. Maybe Wednesday? I don't know when the cube comes down. Does anyone know when the cube is gone? Yep, had a feeling you'd do that. You hit a land. Heavy breathing. Wow, Jellyfill Donut. Um, 
Um. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so um. Uh, any news about the sign? I signed up. I mean, that's 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 about all the news I I've got for you. Uh, there's only early access on Arena. Their MTGO is not a thing. Oh, Cubans at 1 p.m. Eastern on Thursday. Interesting. So we could still cube on Wednesday. That's nice. I mean, Emrakul is going to utterly destroy them right now, but... I guess, I guess hope for no days, right? Times. Yeah, we had a good one. We're having a good time. I'm just gonna submit. I don't think anything on our sideboard is really good against this matchup. So, uh, this is what I have. So early access streamer event, April 23rd, 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So 10, so 10 a.m. Eastern to April 24th, 10 a.m. Eastern. So. Sand's terrible. I'm going to ship this hand. We can do better. We did not do better. Thank you. Exodus, thank you for saying somebody. I love the fun you have. You have been playing for years, thousands of games. And you still get excited when you pull something off. I love it. Yeah, it's great, man. That's the thing about Magic. Like, dude, if you're going to Emrakul, through the breach, Emrakul somebody after playing for, for 20 years or after playing for one year, it feels good every time. I've been enjoying the new Mulligan rule. I think it's fine. And if you guys need some sweet new wardrobe updates, if you guys have old crusty underwear that you need to be replaced... Definitely check out meundies.com slash Frank Lepore. You'll get 15% off on some of the most comfortable micromodal underwear that you could possibly buy. And uh, you also get free shipping and free returns in the case that, like, you, they don't fit. If, they, if you buy a size they don't fit, you can just return them and then get a different size. But they're super comfortable, so that's the only reason I could ever uh, imagine you, you uh, returning them, because they're extremely comfortable. So replace those crusty draws with meundies.com slash Frank Lepore. Hashtag Krusty Draws. 100 across the undies bits. Jellyfell done at 500 bits. Here are 500 predicting the future bids. <laughs> Bobby Biscuits, thank you for the sub. Really appreciate it. That's actually hilarious. Okay. We're doing it again. This hand is actually quite good. We have Electrolyze, which draws this card to kill this. Takes a counter off. Spearing Spear kills something else. Takes a counter off. I'm okay with what's happening. Listen, guys. I like to keep my dental practice and my streaming separate, okay? I don't want to I don't want to I wanna merge those streams. Do I block here? And then they just deal us two and end up killing it. I'll take one. <laughs> I'll take one damage. Because next turn, if they try to pump, we can kill it in response, which is nice. Okay. What if my undies ain't crusty because I'm an adult and I watch them every couple months? Well, if you're watching them every couple months. Okay, I see what you did there. Welp. <laughs> okay, well. I think you're in for a rude awakening, good sir. I'm gonna do it again. Okay, that's not what we want. Hmm. Hmm. 
well. Mesa region. Good to know. Land? Good one. Good land to have. Okay, well. We probably just want to kill this Jace. Well, that's just rude. However, we do have a Revelark, so that's kind of cool. Wizard sent me a survey with who are your favorite streamers to watch? Oh man, I wish all you guys got that survey and could. I have some dragon meandies that are right they can confirm super comfy. Thanks for the no recommendation. Nice. Hashtag comfy dragons. <laughs> oh, seems good. Seems good. I kind of just want to run out this Venser here because. Because if we do it on their turn, we risk getting it countered. And I also don't want them to have access to the mana. So I think there's two reasons I don't want to do that. I missed the donation. Krusty Pete. Krusty Pete here from Krusty Pete's Krusty Drawers here. Wow, that's two here's in the same sentence. Do you like your undies so crusty they crunch when you move? No longer do you need to age your undies yourself. Krusty Pete's Krusty Drawers come free aged by skilled nerds who know how to sweat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crying out loud. That's amazing. That's amazing. Welp. Okay, that's fine. Well, we're going to three here, which means anything that targets this idiot will kill us. Sweet lands. Seven turns. Missed three land drops. send us thank you so much for the sub really appreciate it welcome welcome uh, i still gonna submit here i think it's fine i like sweltering suns maybe that's good impure recruiter just keeps me out it's too late though they already submitted so i'm gonna keep that seems fine no red though ah biscuits ah biscuits i hate that it's grayed out when i'm like trying to mulligan here Three red cards, four non-red lands. Ugh. Mistakes were made.
Any any red source would be great here. Literally any red source at this point. Because they all come into play on tap, so. Oh, now I really need it more than ever. Nope, didn't think so. Okay. Well, we tried. I've been watching your content for a long time. Well, I don't catch you live often. I want to watch your videos on YouTube, so I figured this at least. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Man, where's that sweltering sun when you need it? It's okay. We only have 10 sources of red in the deck. One red source that is not a Inspiring Vantage or a Spire Bluff Canal. I'll take a Plateau. I'll take a Mountain. I'll take a Windswept Heath. I'll take a Steam Vents. Come on, don't do me like that. This Jace makes me sad because I can actually keep Geist of St. Traft here. Which is what they did, comically. So, I mean, we can cast Revelark and just block. But we're going to take six here, right? So we're going to go to seven. And they're going to play Swift Spear. We actually put should have put Swift Spear by itself. If we can draw another red and play P and Karen Alar, it's pretty... Oh, they're actually at four. So if we hit a land, we just kill them with... Wow, alright. So if we hit a land, we just kill them with Colonnade. Yeah, that's pretty good. Come on, land. Well, we can kill you, block you. And then a land still gets the job done. And then we take four, and we just hope they don't have, like, lightning bolt, I guess. I mean, the alternative is we just take three. Yeah. Wow, through the breach again. All right, so we're going to play this. All right, well. Hoping you don't have a way to get rid of my Seagate Oracle. or kill us. Okay. Well, if they don't have any red, we're just going to cast this. Or they don't have any blue, rather. Oh, boy. Got him. Got him. Man, Emrakul is not a joke, dude. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Also, check out manatraders.com if you want 20% off your first three months of any subscription, physical paper cards, or digital MTGO cards. Definitely check out manatraders.com. You can find the link and the promo code in my description below. So definitely use those. If you guys are watching on YouTube, slam those like and subscribe buttons. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. I will see you next time.